minutes or so, well, at least until 10 o'clock, we are talking with our very special guest. In here inside the Monster Booth today, we have Miss Jewel Villa Flores. Did I get Yay. that right? Yay! Hi, Jewel! Hi, Jewel! Thank you so much for having me. Of course, no, we, we, it is a privilege to have you oh, here in the booth. Thank you so much. All right, so um, why, not, why not introduce yourself to the world? Uh, <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Jewel Villa Flores and I'm here with um, Sir Ian Zephra. <laughs> yeah, Sir Ian Zephra, yeah. yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> name, How does yeah. this work? Is, is, this, uh, is this a manager and talent uh, thing that's going on? Are you the manager? Uh, uh, sure enough, yeah. Super cool, super cool. Uh, wow, okay. Um, you won the Vis Pop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what was it? 2013. Yeah, 2013. 2013. The first. The first ever. So yeah. you you wrote a song in Bisaya. Yeah. I All wrote right. A song. Super it was cool. called New York. <laughs> okay. How was the experience? Tell us a little bit about this pop. Um, who, who can tell us um, about this pop? Like the Vispop, whole. Yeah. Um, the, the whole, whole experience. Band. Well, the yeah. whole what the organization is, what what they do, and and what what your part was in in all of that. Um, this pop is a songwriting campaign, mm -hmm. aiming at um, introducing Bisayan songs. And promoting Cebuano language, yeah, and um, it's it's really a great experience to be part of it. And I'm really happy because I learned a lot of things. Super cool, super cool. So, was that your first um, e exposure to songwriting? Was this pop like, or were you writing songs even before you joined this pop? Um, I was writing songs um, ever since I was um, six or eight. I, really I can't now. really remember, but I do remember wi writing songs about love, stars, time machines. And <laughs> six years old, already yeah. singing about love. None All of right. them made sense, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, a lot of the modern songs these days, they don't make any sense either. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Super cool. So anyway, um, so writing songs since you were six, uh, where does the musical inspiration come from? I mean, did you always love music before, or was it something your parents passed down to you? Yeah, um, my parents love music, mm -hmm. and um, the inspiration just came from the stories happening around. <laughs> All right, super cool. And did you, so I'm guessing, did you start off writing in Bisaya like straight off the bat, or did you start off writing English songs and stuff? Um, I only have um, three Bisaya songs. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you all, just you've always written Bisaya songs. Oh uh, no, um, I wrote English songs ever since, and um, the past two years, three years or two years, I started writing Bisaya songs. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> um, June, Miss June, any questions? Because if not. Maybe I think we should introduce Cebu to your sound and to your to your you know to your feel and have yeah. you play a song. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We will introduce. Uh, you know, I will leave that to you to introduce <laughs> the song that you're about to play. Tell us about the song you're about oh, to play. Um, this song is an original composition. It's about um, the good memories you have with someone, and you just want to revisit that memory. Um, it's called Coffee Tables, and um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it right now. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
looking at those times and how we're able to turn coffee tables to love songs and lullabies, lullabies. How I wish I was stronger to hold you in my arms. How do I tell the last words, keep it safe in my heart? Still dreaming about those times and how we're able to turn coffee tables to love songs. Thank you.